Everton have been one of the busier teams in the January transfer window so far. Everton are reportedly closing in on an agreement to sign Anwar El Ghazi from Aston Villa. The Toffees have already added Vitaly Mikolenko and Nathan Patterson this month to strengthen Rafa Benitez's options at full-back, but their business ISNT expected to end there with the Spaniard keen to add another wide player to his squad. El Ghazi has emerged as the top target with Aston Villa seemingly willing to listen to offers. There had originally been reports that Everton's interest in El Ghazi could be linked with Villa wanting Lucas Dean. However, it appears as though any deal for either player will be separate from one another, and Everton look likely to strike first with TalkSport reporting they are on the brink of completing a £15 million for El Ghazi. El Ghazi joined Villa in 2018 on loan and played a crucial role in helping him earn promotion to the Premier League before his move was made permanent. The Dutchman enjoyed his best season in front of goal last season with 11 goals in all competitions, but HES fallen down the pecking order at Villa Park under Steven Gerrard and Philippe Coutinho's arrival will only limit El Ghazi's minutes further. Leon Bailey is also set to return from injury in the near future, giving Gerard more options in the wide areas. For Everton, they're desperate to bring in players this month capable of providing a stronger goal threat. They've scored just 23 league goals so far and are without a win in the top flight since early December. While reports indicate any move for El Ghazi is unlikely to be a swap deal for Dean, the Everton fullback is expected to leave this month. Villa are being tipped as the favourites with Dean supposedly uninterested in a move to Newcastle. Speaking last week, Benitez confirmed that Dean made it clear he wants to leave this month, and Steven Gerrard dropped the biggest hint yet that Villa are closing in on a move for the 28-year-old after being knocked out of the FA Cup by Manchester United.